Hello and welcome back to Let Supreme Ghost Thief. We are continuing a Keeper of the Prophecies, Mission 6 we're doing today, reversing the order. And this is a big step up from the previous one, the other side of time. And this is the main mission in the last three, which I believe Fraber released simultaneously. So this was the, the middle of those three and this was the main reason why he released the finale. So um, it does have some some forced interactions though and forced kills so it's a little bit different but it's uh, driven by the objectives so uh, I kind of like that when it changes up the style so it's not only stealth every once in a while to get that kind of mission breaks up the pace of, of only hiding all the time but we can still do this in a stealth like way although it's not ghostable but it's gonna be interesting we'll see I'm, I'm curious to see how this pans out, because it might be a little bit random each time we play this, so. Um, what I've done, though, prior to this, is I went back to just before we overheard the Cavador Alicia um, conversation. Uh, just to pick you guys up, if you don't know uh, or don't remember, we have now gone back in time, and we are interacting with Alicia before she gets killed. So we have overheard her conversation um, and we know that she is going to get killed by Frantitious or Frantitious thugs and we will end up getting poisoned by him later. So we are now trying to prevent that from happening. Both of those things. So we left the cathedral following Alicia in the last mission and now we are going to overhear her meeting with Frantitious, basically. So what I've done here is I've gone back because I needed to grab three extra gas arrows from the ledges around the cathedral. So I went back and then I just followed Alicia back out just like I did and just like you guys saw and got the same amount of loot and everything and um, did a perfect supreme ghost of uh, other side of time. So the time here is a little bit different, a little bit longer. So I picked up three extra gas arrows. We're going to need more gas arrows and more equipment than that in this mission, but um, there is a limit to how much is available in Mission 6. So all the equipment you take in Mission 5 carries over, so that's why I wanted to grab three extra gas arrows. So let's take a look. There's a small briefing. Okay, so that's it. So what we have to do now is quite a lot. The Guardian sent you back to a time just before you were poisoned. How handy. Make sure Counselor Frantitious never has another chance to poison you. That basically means we have to kill him, right? Um, the situation is plenty dicey enough with two Garrets in this world. Do not let Alicia see you. You will fail the mission if she sees you, which means if she gets to alarm mode. So she can hunt for you, um, though I don't see that too often, so we have to stay away. Alicia was doing you a big favor by meeting with the Hammerites on such a dark and lonesome night. She should not be knocked out or killed for her trouble. Um, which means that if other people kill her, we will fail this objective. Just by being here, you are disrupting history. Do not directly kill anyone. If you arrange for someone to die tonight, it should appear to be an unfortunate accident. So that's a very interesting objective that you don't see too often. Uh, basically, anything that doesn't register as a kill in the stats is allowed. So that means we can set others up to kill each other. Um, we can, you know, crush somebody underneath something that kills them. We can drown somebody. That is not... Um, Check off as a kill. So, for example, if we knock somebody out and throw them into the water, 
that will not fail that objective. Make sure Alicia finds her way back to your apartment house alive. That's a very interesting objective um, because I'm a little bit unsure of how to interpret that in terms of the ghost rules. I honestly don't think that it excuses any rules because there's nothing specific or explicitly said there that you can knock somebody out or kill somebody. But you are to make sure Alicia finds her way back. So that's the principle. So I will be okay with doing anything that I feel protects Alicia here because that is the two objectives are directed specifically against that. Uh, even though it might not excuse the bust. Uh, I'm going to not feel bad about that. There are rumors of a keeper safe house with useful items somewhere in the industrial part of town. Find it and raid the place. If Councillor Frantisius is moving by his own free will, when his accidental death occurs, it will appear genuine. Do not gas or blackjack this guy. So we cannot use you know, the knockout and drowning technique on him. Uh, he is possible to gas or blackjack, but it'll fail this objective. We're going to start listening to the conversation right away here, uh, even before we can see anything, so we'll pay attention to that. Ah, Lady Alicia, what sends you into such a cruel and lonesome night? Let us just say, Councillor Frantitius, that I am aware of my father's plans. And as I was passing this way, I thought it worthy to discuss the matter with you before he grows any older and weaker. What is there to discuss? Your father has made his wishes plain as day. You are his rightful heir, and upon his death you will become the new master of the Enterprise. Dear Counselor Frantitius, you are a most gifted liar. But we both know about my father's plans. He merely speaks his intentions, but you are the one who must always make his dastardly arrangements. If you wish to be truly informative, then you can simply tell me when I am scheduled to die. You, you dare to accuse me of complicity in such sordid affairs? Of course I do. And as a matter of fact, I would not be surprised if my father's trusted High Counselor is planning to steal the Enterprise for himself. A snake such as you should never be allowed near that facility. Such a stream of accusations is not easily tolerated. I have a simple proposal, Counselor. You allow my father to appoint the successor of his choice, and I will see to it that you are spared the unnecessary embarrassment of losing your livelihood. Dear Lady Alicia, are you not the same woman of the street who sleeps with that vermin known as Garrett? Just how far do your plans extend? So, you know about Garrett. Then presumably you also know about my father's wishes regarding him. I know nothing about this. I am your father's obedient servant. I do only as I am told. Now go home, rest. This is a matter which can be discussed at a more convenient time. As you wish, Counselor. But remember this. I have no personal desire to own the Enterprise for myself. And if my father wishes to convey it to Garrett, then you will act to keep my father's promise. Is that understood? I will do my duty as commanded. You men, follow I don't like me. the looks of this. Better keep close. going to make a real save there. The conversation will not restart, even if we make a save here. I was waiting to see if something else was going to be said. We're going to head out here. Take a stack of silver coins and read the scroll. Counselor, we are ready to capture the target. At the local pub each night, she is known to arrive just before the tenth hour for her nightly visit with, her bar with the barkeep. I have instructed my men to chase her from that place toward the West Bridge. Men posted in the village beyond will intercept her before reaching Garrett's door, where we will quietly take the precursor eye from her. 
As promised, we will not harm the lady in any way and leave without further trouble. Should the dear lady escape this first attempt, I will have other men scattered along her only other way of escape via the north bridge past the mortuary and through the industrial section of town. Should she manage to find her way to safety, we will not assault the apartment itself, fearing a rain of broadheads from Garrett's window once he's alerted by the lady's return or by some attack on the building before then. I will be contacting you with our results. P. I assume maybe that's Pinchenden? Mr. Frantitious, I be carrying the scroll from the pinch, and here's you talking with somebody, so I don't want me to be intrudent. Sorry to be dripping on your nice floor to write in in this here scroll, but I got me a good reason. Mr. Pinchendon, yeah. Still don't know how you promise gold to any of the men who kills Lady Alicia tonight by accident, if you knows what I mean. But I didn't get into this investigation business to go kill no ladies. So here be my part of the upfront money you gives us for her life. Go buy yourself a drink. <coughs> Man, we just took two... We lost two health. Um, which usually doesn't happen too much. I'm just going to go through the attorney's office here. Let's see. We have to pick the lock on this door and this door. get all the loot here. Let's see. So you guys remember, this is from Hallucinations. Here's a purse. Healing potion there as well. And then we can read this scroll too. Counselor Frontitious, as you have requested, I'm writing now to confirm how I will be meeting with Lady Alicia this very evening. I do not understand how this concerns your legal representations on our behalf. But I accept your assurances that this information is of great value to you. The Builder's grace to thee, Brother Cavador. There, nothing else in here. So, you can't actually open these doors to follow them. And when they left through this door, they didn't actually go out into the streets. They actually disappear right away. And then they will respawn somewhere else later. That's just a part of the story. Um, so let's talk a little bit about uh, what this mission is. So this is a reuse of most of the map from Hallucinations, Mission 2. So you can recognize this map here. So we are now in the attorney's office just north of Town Square. Okay, this is the cathedral. We cannot go into that area now. Um, we have the building with some establishments here. Uh, the infirmary, for example, the pub is available. That wasn't available in the previous mission. And we have the clock tower here. We have Westbridge. And you have the whole um, section of town with the warehouse and the mortuary. Right? The, the manor and um, the mortuary's residence, basically, here. Uh, we can also go down through Kebbles to go to Garrett's place. We cannot access the cemetery. That part of town isn't available. But we can also go north of North Bridge and up to the northern parts of town. And that's this area. That is brand new. So uh, this is north right here. So there's a residential area to the north. And there is the canal that you can dive into and use actually to move around. There's a bunch of warehouses. Uh, there's a big power plant that you can more go on the rooftops of rather than go inside and in the far south which is close to um, west bridge here so that you will come down here you'll go up north and then you'll go back down here so this map is to the north of this um, so in the barn you can go inside and there's a couple of there's a couple of buildings you can go inside of here but nothing too much of interest inside those buildings, except the barn. Um, now, approximately 10 to 12 minutes into the mission, Alicia will start walking from the pub uh, up North Bridge, and she will walk from the northern parts 
of the residential area and down through this area, past the barn, and then will appear on the white west bridge. Um, she will then go through a gate here that we can, can't use and then approach Garrett's place. Along the way, she is going to get attacked by multiple thieves and swordsmen, city watch and thieves. Um, now, it is possible, possible, though I have never experienced that, for us to just leave her alone and she kill her way through everything, because she has a very, very powerful attack. Um, she has a knife and she has a movement pattern that I haven't seen in any other enemy, which is kind of neat and cool to see. Um, we won't get to see that too much, though, because I am going to take out all the thieves and the guards that have the potential of hurting her. And I think that actually matches this objective, making sure that she finds her way. Um, she can, um, and I've seen her take out four or five different guards, but the problem is if there are two or three that gang up on her. If three uh, meet her at once, it's almost impossible for her to survive. Now, Galair, he wrote in his report that he went over to Garrett's apartment and actually hid in the water uh, over there. And then Alicia found her way to, the, uh, to Garrett's apartment and she even killed Frantitius along the way. I have never had that happen. Uh, so that might be a distance related uh, factor there. I am not going to do that. That's not going to make for a very good video and it, that's not an interesting way for me to play. Um, because we're going to have to bust Ghost anyway in this mission. Um, so, um, because you have to take out certain guards. Uh, I think he knocked out or gassed a few. Uh, so I'm not going to do that for the sake of making this an interesting video here. Um, now, a few minutes after Alicia leaves the, um, the pub, Frantitius and two guards will also come out and walk the same route. So if she gets slowed down by fighting a bunch of guards, they're going to catch up with her. And that's three people at once. So if that happens, she will most certainly get killed. So we're going to have to be a little bit fast here in the beginning to set things up so that we can, we can successfully take out the guards before she arrives. So let's go back here. We have now taken a stack of silver coins and a purse. So there's nothing much interesting in the streets right now. This is North Bridge. Here's just uh, a warehouse where you can't really... This is new though, so I want to show it to you. But these doors you can't operate, really. If I stop and show you something or read something, I'm going to reload just to save a little bit of time. Okay. kind of difficult here, actually. <sighs> it is very difficult to get in behind that counter. because there's loot back there, and nobody cares about what I'm doing here, but Alicia will come here a little bit later. And I don't want... Uh, then she will see us, and that is a bust. Who's there? Hello? Hello? Any okay, what was that? Is someone there? Who's that? Please don't play games. Okay, so that might not be me, actually. Is someone there? Yeah, that's uh, a noise that somebody makes. It's not me. There we go, good. There, 1512, and a healing potion. Yeah, that wasn't... I'm not sure why on earth this wasn't tested here to get out of this place. 
is just annoying. Okay, done with this area. Okay, so let's head into the clock tower. Clock tower and stone tower are hereby dedicated and inscribed under the owl moon in the seventh year of Lutetian Parasorium. <sighs> so we're going to need this gas arrow. There's also two fire arrows, five moss arrows, two speed potions in this, uh, four gas mines, and three flash bombs. Uh, that's what's in here. <coughs> I just want to read a couple of things to you. Cancelled. Due to the continuing rain, our harvest festival has been postponed. Festivities, including the much-anticipated fireworks display, will take place on the first rain-free day of the coming week. The Festival Committee. There's also a readable over here. By order of Pavlov Storm, Viceroy to Facithius the Just, all children found to be wandering the streets without the company of an adult, blood relative, will be removed. If not claimed within one day, such will be put up for auction, and if unsold, put down along with all the other feral animals of the street. Alright, so they're still picking those up. We're also going to take this one. Four gas mines. We're not going to maybe need more than three. Um... But I want four just in case I will need it. And you can't pick up just individual gas mines here. This is the infirmary. We're going to have to pick the lock on this door too. Here's an artifact. Receptionist, that door is pickable, which we're not going to pick. <laughs> Here is a healing potion and a diary. Regarding the visit of Lady Alicia Celestis, rather than inquiring about her own health, the patient wishes to learn the properties of various potions for use in slowly disabling and sickening others. At first I had supposed uh, this would be the basis of her own complaints, but after hearing no complaints I became convinced how the lady was only seeking counsel to injure others, at which point I made vague statements and sent her on her way. My diagnosis is troubling, though I feel accurate. From my observations of her and from reports I've seen, Lady Alicia is suffering from acute mania, and though she presents as rational at times, um, the lady has been experiencing violent psychotic episodes, delusion of grandeur, disorganized thinking, and agitation. If there is further deterioration, I will prescribe a course of neuroleptics and have several armed guards administer these regularly if she is unwilling. All right. That is interesting. In here we have a bottle of wine, goblet, healing potion, and a clock. Total 1647. Let's see, why do I only have 1647 here now? <coughs> I should have more than that, shouldn't I? <coughs> uh, I'm going to go back here and check real quick how much I had. Lady Alicia, what sends you into such a cruel and lonesome night? Let us just say, Counselor Frantitius, that I am aware of my father's Okay, death. let's see. And as I was passing this way, I thought it worthy I to discuss don't know why I don't have the full grows any older loot. and weaker. What is there to discuss? Your father has made his wishes okay, I'm going to have to check day. something here. You are his right okay, so I realized what was wrong. I hadn't picked up <clears throat> one candlestick when I redid the last part of the cathedral. Uh, on my way out, so I did that now, and I've done everything exactly the same, maybe a little bit faster. So 
So we're back in the infirmary right now, and I have 1697, and that's what I'm supposed to have. Okay, so now we can go through here. This is the surgery. We're going to actually pick the lock on this door, too, because there is... Uh, there are two gas arrows here. Six. Let's see, how many do we need in total? I think we need seven gas arrows. In here, there's nothing. Nothing. A dog barking. Room two, there is a healing potion, a speed potion. And that's it. Two healing potions and two speed potions, actually. Okay. So now we're done up here. There's not too much in this area, in this part of town. I do like the rain and the fog, though. Hopefully it isn't too loud. So this is Westbridge. And we can actually open these. It doesn't look like you can, but you can. From these. We're gonna head over here now. To those gathering feral street children for disposal, it is required that each vermin be properly bound and muzzled to prevent the unpleasant wailing and thrashing which has led to injury among a representative. Representatives, so ordered by Pablo Storm, the Viceroy of the Pasithias, the Just Man. This is cruel. These are like horrible um, people and messages here. So now we're going to head on into Kevils. Ah, Kevils' house. I don't suppose the missus will mind if I take another shortcut through her living room. Let's see. We're going to need to do that to get down to. Garrett's apartment. There's nothing else of interest in here. Kevil, is that you? I swear, Kevil, if I so much as smell one drop of liquor on your breath, you'll be keeping the gutter warm again tonight. What's wrong with you, Kevil? <laughs> here's Kevil. Okay. So let's take a look here. Just this is what Frantitius killed her the last time. But not this time. So here's a guard. Hey, what was that? Let's actually just gas. Uh, I don't see anything now. Gas him right now. We're not going to do that. Alicia can take care of him. Should be one more guard here. Let's gas him too. I didn't actually know that there were three there, but um, she usually doesn't have a problem going through here on her own. We're not going to actually watch that, but she should be able to reach Garrett's door, which is right here. Here's a notice. Final eviction notice. Due to sh thy continuing non-payment of rent, thou shalt depart these premises. If after one hour shouldst thou yet again be discovered within this space, thou and thy children shalt be forcibly removed and bodily cast onto the street. Old village properties. Okay, so up here is then Garrett's apartment, and the other Garrett, which we will not be able to find, is in here. And you can actually help Alicia by breaking the window. If you break two, both windows. Yeah. What the hell? Who's taking those shots? Ah, uh, yes. A little uh. help from my previous existence. So we can get shot. My alter ego wasn't so drunk that I get hit with one of those arrows. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. We can get hit there, too. So you can't do that for Ghost, of course, because that's property damage. But you can do that in a regular run in order to help Alicia when she comes down here. But I've never had an issue with her fighting these guards here. So this is then to Celestis Industries. And we might have read this maybe uh, in before the Enterprise. My dearest Jadifni, 
Thankfully, the courier still deliver our mail. I will bring aid such as I have collected, but I must be careful. The usual exits from the Enterprise are now closed to us, and I dare not be caught again trying unapproved methods. Forgive me for not coming to you sooner. Please hold out a little longer. Give a kiss to the children. I will come. Your loving husband, Santa's called. I think... I think we did read that. So what I am going to do... So I'm going to climb up here. And get one more gas arrow. I think we're going to get caught if we drop in here. No, I don't think so. So now we have seven gas arrows. And we have four. gas mines. I think we're only going to need seven and three. So let's see. What do we have in terms of time now? 7.47. Okay. that That's okay. So about five minutes until she is scheduled to start going or so. Something like that. Let me just check my notes. We are going to need to... Yeah, we're, we're actually going to pick up one more gas arrow a little bit later. Because we'll probably need eight, to be honest with you. Uh, so I'm now going to start uh, gassing any uh, enemy that's on... Alicia's route in the industrial section of town. Uh, not the three guards close to Garrett's apartment. Um, those she can handle. She will come through here, so we're going to have to gas these two guys. Two archers. Now, I feel that follows the objective. So I'm going to end up gassing them so that they don't detect either I'm being it. Yeah. So there he saw the first guy being gassed. Or he heard it. But he doesn't always do that. He heard it there too. Don't usually. As long as he doesn't. Yeah, so they are super, super alert. You'll be full of hope. This is the most difficult guys to take out. Oh, he did actually alert there too. He started moving. There, he didn't. That's good. Now we got him. They've got arrows, by the way. If you want to get all the pickpockets. So they would, they have a very, very uh, dangerous position for Alicia because she comes through here and she gets killed by them. So those we have to knock out. Now, here is another guard. And I would maybe want to gas him. The problem with doing that is that there's, there's a super alert thief here that hears that. 
So we're going to have to go now back around. Uh, so instead, we're going to go back through town. Uh, we're actually going to hit the um, the uh, mortician. And we're going to go through Northbridge, uh, or north of his house, up to the industrial town, and then um, gas all the guards backwards so that we can gas that thief before we get to that swordsman. We have to take both of them out, but we can't do it like this. Let's see, I think we can do something now. So we're now going to sort of go <coughs> Alicia's route before her. But we're going to have a pit stop over at the Morticians first. Let's read, <coughs> let's read this. Don't like all those um, hits we take. To encourage a swift return to proper civil cleanliness, a bounty of five silver pieces will be paid for the delivery of of a feral child found to be wandering the streets without the company of an adult blood relative. Deliver unto any representative of the king of immediate um, payment. Those presenting more than one specimen per day specimen, are you kidding me? Will be paid an extra silver piece over and above the st stated five pieces for each vermin. This is crazy. I've never lost this much damage. Down here. We might have to pick up um, a healing potion or something. There is a healing potion in here. I think I will need to do that in case I drop two more. So two pieces of loot, total 1797, and then we're gonna have to pick the lock on this door and get the last gas out. There we go. And in here, there should be a healing potion. Let's grab that just in case. There's nothing else to do and read in here anyway. Upstairs, there's nothing. It's just a balcony. And you can pick the lock on this door. Get into the bedroom. And even into the, the daughters. And into the bathroom. You can't go out through here. But there's nothing else up here. Okay. make a real save because we're now going to start on our so we are now in the northern section of the industrial town so we're up here now I'm going to go through and show you guys some things here afterwards but I'm just now going to be fairly efficient first in here is a guy you can see him right there I'm going to take a gas arrow and knock him out. That's the third one we're knocking out. That guy down there can't see us. See, I think she goes this way. Yep, 
If I remember correctly, she does. And there was another guard, or a thief. So we're sort of headed west right now. right there. It's the fourth guy taken out. This is nuts. How many guys did pinch it in higher anyhow? So that voice line. Oh, come on. Is given because we're supposed to be following Alicia right now to see how she gets attacked. Okay. So he doesn't always see you there. You can sneak through here. Better watch my back. These guys are everywhere. So now we gave a different voice line. That's kind of cool. So this is then, uh, we're approaching now that big pond in the middle here. He's further forward than he usually is. See that? He's not normally that far off. Head up here. Start heading south now. So now we're actually um, approaching the warehouses and the barn. I'm taking the route that she will take. way. Yeah, she will. And now we're actually, this is the barn right here. I'm going to show you a few things. This is the thief that we talked about earlier. There we go. So now we have taken out the two archers, and then three thieves, right? Show you up here. <laughs> There's another thief. And there is an archer around here, too. Something there. There he is. Stopped. He's got arrows, by the way. That's a pickpocket that is commonly missed. If you want to get all those. Now, in the barn, there are two guards. Boring, boring. Right here. I'm going to gas those two, because they come following Alicia as soon as she passes this area. So they are on her path. And then lastly, the swordsman that we talked about earlier. Right here. I'm going to hide this guy. Back over here. That's actually a total of eight. 
knockout from gas. There. Okay. So now we're going to have to go back through and sort of... Because if you're on this side of town, usually that doesn't trigger her patrol. Let's make another real save. Gassed everyone. We're going to have to follow her a little bit now. The problem is that once Alicia is on her way through town, there are five more thieves that are going to spawn. They all spawn over here around the West Bridge, and they will go in through the gates and approach the industrial area from the south. They are bigger than normal thieves, like physically bigger, and they have a yellow sword. So those will have a good chance of killing Alicia, actually, because they're very good fighters. That's what I'm using the gas mines for. I'm almost out of gas arrows. Um, how many do I have left? Maybe one or two? No, I think... Yeah, I have one left, I believe. So I can use one gas arrow. Um, but I'm going to have to probably use three or four of those gas mines. And putting them right in the gate where they go through uh, is the best deal. Sometimes one of them goes through there before I can get back here. After I trigger Alicia's. So then that thief might actually meet Alicia. But she usually can take care of one of them. No problem. If you get two or three that come over, uh, they might collectively end up killing her. So I don't think this should be a problem. No. Sister. Now I'm turned around. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's one thief that comes first. We sometimes can miss, so he's the guy that I want to be on the lookout for. No. I know the, the map here so well, because I've done this so many times, that I kind of know where we are at any given point in time. Oh, wow. No, I was not where I was supposed to be. Take that back. I'll go around here so that we avoid that guy. Yeah. So here. Warning. Harvest Festival fireworks. Do not disturb these powder kegs. Some items are already armed. If you get Frontitius in here, he will trigger that. Let me show you. Just like that. And that will also be a way to... But then he has to see you and you have to lure him in there. But that's the way to kill him. And that looks like an accident, right? There we go. Here she is. Perfect. Okay. Alicia is here. So now we are going to sort of make sure that she gets through town a little bit. Now we have to head back and take care of those thieves that appear. And wait for her to come here. 
I do like the dripping rain from the from the corners and the eaves. It's really atmospheric. I know this isn't where she goes, but I can sort of make a shortcut there. Okay, I might actually want to head all the way back now and see, because there might be a thief on the way. There is a thief that sometimes meet up with her here, at the bridge. I'm going to head back now and wait for those thieves to come. I think she can take, take care of herself at this point, to be honest with you. After Alicia is home, we get that checked off. Okay, there's one of them came through already. Okay. If we can gas him, because we have one, don't we have one gas arrow left? Yeah, we do. That's perfect. They are very alert, and they are attracted to us. They are actually not attracted to Alicia. They're attracted to our location. a gas arrow on him. Yep. That was perfect. Oh, and there's the other guy. That is annoying. Okay, well then I want you to do something else. Let's see. They're starting to come. I was a little bit too late. Come on. Drop that there. guy here, but he doesn't usually hear anything. Okay. So we have now used eight gas arrows and one gas mine. We'll drop them all in here. So what Galaire did when he hid in the water is since these thieves are attracted to us, when you are in water 
there is no way for them to trigger or to sort of set a path so that the engine doesn't know where to send them. Uh, and that means that they usually stay up in the area around the clock tower or something like that. So we've taken out two now. There should be three more thieves. I'm not sure if I missed one of them, if one got past and uh, is now over by Alicia. And you might ask, well, why would the thief go over to Alicia if they're attracted to us? Well, um, when they start patrolling, they get a path that has a destination where we are when they trigger, when they spawn. So if we were over where Alicia was, they will head over there first and then reset their pathfinding to go to where we are now. So they won't follow us continually. But they will... Uh, there we go. Here's another one. This is perfect. Okay, where on earth did that guy come from? See now, see now, she wasn't able to kill them effectively. I did miss one guy. We might have to restart the Alicia walk and go a little bit faster so that we can take care of them a little bit better here. She killed both of those guards now. Okay, so then there's actually only one more thief that will spawn. Now oh, Alicia should come down here now. We should have two gas mines left, yes. Okay, um, I'm going to wait and see if Alicia manages to do this. But I'm not going to follow her. So she will either just die and we'll get a failed objective and then we have to do it over again. And that's okay. Or we'll have that checked off. But now there are two guards and Francisius that are going to come through here soon. Okay, there is the last thief. I was definitely too late. I was definitely not fast enough getting back here. Because three of those um, thieves were... Put the last gas mine there. Well, that's the last one we're going to have to need to use. I'm going to have to move those bodies, I think, before Frantisius comes.
Okay, so she managed to do that just fine. Okay. That's good. So that's the thief reacting to the bodies he found. But those bodies uh, were not made by us. They were made by Alicia. So that's not a bust us at all. There, now we dealt with all those thieves. Still gonna move the bodies because Frantitius will come through here and then he'll be more alert. That's not good. This is a pile of bodies, if I ever saw one. So now, um, we checked off three objectives. Do not let Alicia see you. Um, do not knock her out or kill her. And make sure that she found her way home. So, um, I'm not sure if she ended up killing all those guards there, or if she just ran straight through them. I'm not sure. Um, so now we basically have to wait for Frantitius and his gang. And that is... Uh, Waiting for Frantitius. And that is then the last objective we need to focus our attention on, and then we can end the mission in the safe house. That's a very good place to leave because we can control when the mission ends. So we have to make an accident and kill Frantitius. Now I, just because I'm a curious guy, I am going to go down and see if she actually ended up killing those guards or not before I deal with the frantitious problem this is where frantitious killed her the last time no but not this time okay So she just waltz right through here? Is that the point? Mm. Someone there? Hey! Hold it right there, Tapper! That's it! Yeah. You've had it! I'm not sure how she did that, but she did it. Okay. <clears throat> now we have to consider now find Frantitius. Now normally he is patrolling with two other guards, and that makes it a little bit difficult because we have to isolate him. Who is there? Whoa! God. There he is. Okay. Where are the other guards then? Ah! There was one. Okay, this is very, very good. Um, <coughs> so, <coughs> we are probably going to have to So there's one location that I found the best to kill him. Because uh, remember, we have to make it look like an accident. So we're going to have to wait for him to come back up. He's going to go down close to our apartment. Then come back up here, and then we have to follow him to the location where I want to kill him. Um, from what I know, there are five different ways to kill him that is sort of intended. Um, let's see. Yeah. One would be for Alicia to kill him. And that I've never had happen. Um, I've never had that situation even be close. So I wasn't going to consider that for this video. The second would be to drown him. But that would probably involve some kind of an engine exploit. <laughs> because you have to get him <laughs> pushed, of course. Now, we can't have that. Lady Alicia? Alicia? 
<laughs> she is all gone, my friend. Um, yeah. Getting him drowned would mean that you would set up some kind of a block and then get him pushed into the water. Maybe use a save and reload technique, and that wouldn't really be in the... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to take some healing here. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna drink that healing potion. Um, so that is a. Uh, oh my goodness, what is going on? I'm losing a lot of health here. I, I was never even close to losing this much health last time I played. I think I lost two health shields overall. <clears throat> so yeah, <clears throat> drinking a healing potion is a supreme bust. Um, though, we did have a discussion actually with Sneak, the original creator of the Supreme Rules, on uh, what constitutes potions and what doesn't. And whether all effects... <coughs> oh, come on. Whether all effects that potions have... <coughs> Whether, if a different item generates the same effect as a potion does, for example, if you use a different quest item to make yourself invisible, should that be a bust also, since invisibility potions uh, are busts to drink? Um, but it, what came out of that discussion was actually quite differing opinions, but... Um, it is only those that are strictly potions, those that are consumed by drinking something, uh, that is considered a bust to Supreme. Uh, Sneak was actually of the impression that a healing potion wasn't uh, violating that rule. That that wasn't what the rule was intended for. Because um, healing wasn't like enhancing your abilities in a supernatural way in the same way fashion that slow fall potions or speed potion or visibility potions were were doing. Uh, plus you're not allowed to take damage in the first place, so why would you ever need to take a healing potion? He didn't think about a scenario like we have here where it's scripted that you lose health. Pinch it is a fool. An expensive fool. So now we're going to have to follow Frantitius here. I thought I heard something. Oh, he's um, <laughs> alert. So we can't go through there because there's another guard there. Follow him at a distance. I kind of know where he's going here. So this is the location we're going to kill him at. There's a button up there that raises this and uh, can crush him. So that's the best location. Another option would be to lure him de into um, underneath the elevator here in the barn. But that is very difficult to get him over to this area here. This isn't a natural area for somebody to move through. Danger, stand back when lift is moving. So that's <coughs> a hint, I guess. And the last option will be to get him over to the fireworks barrels that I showed you earlier. Get him to, to ignite those, I guess. Yeah, 
where did he go now? Should end up coming through here, I think, to the east. Okay. Then he's already past that area because that guard is following him. So he has gone past that point. There's the other guard that usually follows him. Okay, they're very spaced out right now. I'm not sure why that is. So this is a little bit tedious because we have to follow him so that he comes back to the area that's close to that barn. trying to find him right now. There he is. Okay, he's on his way back now. That's good. <coughs> should come from here. This is actually the safe house here. See, he gone this way now. Oh, I lost him again, it seems like. Yeah. Uh, What do I hear? Is that you, dear lady? Okay. There it was. Oh, I gotcha. Not sure if he heard me there. I don't want him to. Well, I mean, he's gonna hear me no matter what, because we have to lure him over to. We're gonna have to lure him over to the crushing area. <laughs> I 
I think Frantitius basically has exactly the same route as Alicia did. kill him. Let's make a real save here. And then we can get ready. So, uh, we're obviously going to have to alert him. He's going to have to see us, and he's going to have to hunt his way basically over to where we are going to hide. The point, point is that we shouldn't alert anybody else in the process. Uh, nobody else has seen or heard us in the entire mission. We've only uh, knocked out people with gas. And if you're going to be intrusive, um, then that would be, I guess, the most stealthy way, most concealed way of doing that. And it follows the objective's intention and you know, spirit. I'm going to actually make a real save here instead. Okay. Lady Alicia, is that you? We get it. Ah, by the builder. Guards, come quickly. Come out of the shadows. Who's creeping? That we can't have. If he actually sees us, that is not going to work. Like when he makes a shot. Is someone there? Who is there? Show yourself. Cease your hiding and surrender. This is better. <coughs> Here's the button. So he gave up too quickly there, but that's the right way. He didn't even go to alarm mode there. He just hunted. What do I see there? Show yourself. Cease your hiding and he is more alert in hearing me than seeing me. That is for sure. So I'm not sure why he didn't die there, because he totally should have. Lady Alicia, it is safe to appear before me. Do not hide from us. Garrett! Ah, find a bill. Yeah, I kind of want him to go only in hunt mode all the way over. That seems a little bit more... more efficient, too, because he... at least he Lady walks. Lady Alicia, is that you? Slowly only over. wish to protect you. Save it there. I will not have any of this. Show yourself. Uh, 
Who was that? Come out of the shadows. <clears throat> There's somebody else too that detected me here. That is not good. I what have we here? Maybe I, I just have to accept the fact that it needs to see me. I will not have any of this. Show yourself. <coughs> he doesn't see me. God! Enough. Well, that we can't do. That sound is way too loud. Come out of the shadows. There's somebody else that has alerted him ah! to, and I don't know who that is. Is that somebody that's patrolling that sees it? It could be that one of those guards are, he are hearing his, uh, his alerts. I will not have any of this. Show yourself. That should have killed him. Yeah, I'm not... I don't know if I like that. I don't want that other guard to... to hear. So try to get him to spot us here, maybe? I thought I saw something. Guards, he's over here. Cease your hiding and surrender. May I think maybe that is the better way of doing it. A little finicky to get going, but I want to make sure that I only alert Frantitius here. We can't avoid that fully because there are some guards that will. What do I see there? Is someone there? Cease your hiding and surrender. Maybe this is better. Don't make me come find you. No. I don't know what that other what other guard here is it? Come out of the shadows. You're dead, pal! Probably this guy that hears him. I don't know if we can do anything about that, I'm afraid. Come out of the shadows. So, Garrett himself appears before. Okay, huh. Cease your hiding and surrender. gives up too fast. He's not very alert here. For being somebody who should be on alert. Show yourself. Come out of the shadows. Oh. This is probably a little bit annoying to, to watch. Not very viewer friendly, but... Show yourself. Um... <clears throat>
it is very fiddly to get him to kill him. Come out of the shadows. There we got him. Coward, face me like a man. Just make one little noise. There, Frontitius is dead. We completed that objective. Um, this one here. And do not gas or black deck counselor Frontitius. That gets cancelled. This doesn't mean that it's failed. It means that it just cancelled. This is not applicable anymore. Which I don't really understand. This should be checked off, shouldn't it? Because we didn't gas or blackjack him. So, anyway. So, you always have to... Here, you, you always have to alert... <laughs> this guy. And this guy. Those two always will alert. I'll find you. And maybe it was that guy, too, that heard it. So, yeah. Um, I've never been able to kill him without... This way, at least. Without alerting those two guards up there. So, there we have it. Good. Okay. So, sort of one of the main goals is to not get seen by anybody that doesn't die. And now we have managed to do here. Um, let's go up here. Just to take a look at a few things. Here's a healing potion. sure what that is. I think maybe that was the archer up here. I think there's an ar the archer that I showed you was right here. Uh, anyway, in that footlocker here uh, are three noisemaker arrows. So I think maybe that archer, but he gets alerted anyway. Come out and fight me! I think that guy got alerted. So yeah, some potions in the barn that I didn't show you. Okay, now we are gonna head to the safe house. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Notice that the thunder started once he died. At least they've got so let's see there isn't that much I haven't shown you no but there is maybe a little bit is this bringing us anywhere no that's just to where that archer is wait for that guy to pass. We are going against the patrol of some of these swordsmen. That was, that's why. The 
safe house is in the northern parts. Of the residential district. Let's see here. show you something else too here. Where is it? It's here actually. Let's go around this way. Climb up this pipe. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, here it is. And here is actually an invisibility potion. It's pretty much the only pickable item in all of the northern half of the the industrial section of town except for what's in the safe house but that is obviously a very useful item so now let's head to the safe house then that can be a little bit tricky to get down here without making too much noise Jump down this way. Here is a staircase. Or a ladder, it's called. <gasps> there we go. Okay. So, in this um, footlocker here, I think there are Uh, a noise, three noisemaker arrows, and then there's a slow fall potion. Over here is a speed potion, uh, actually two, and then three healing potions in one here. And then there's a clock, um, and also a ring that is difficult to see. 1947, that's max for this mission. And then all we really have to do is read this. Keeper Orlet. These are ominous times, my brother. Despite our careful warnings, the wayward chief alchemist acts without regard to the health of our city, where his followers continue as alarming rust substance, rust substance experiments to a purpose not yet revealed. Considering the rise of the mecha these mechanists, let us hope that we will not again require young Garrett to save our city. The necessary deceptions are so very difficult, and each time we deal with him, the chances grow that he may discover what he should not see. Just now I receive a new report, a power surge consistent with yet another teleportation event in breach of our agreement with the Chief Alchemist. So I must straight away investigate, even if it delays my arrival tonight. Until then, instruct the brethren to watch most carefully those wayward Hamrites who pledge loyalty to this Karis. Perhaps we will soon discover his plans and learn how to limit him without undoing those benefits we have from his service. On another point, we have a new threat which reveals itself in a most unlikely form, Lady Alicia, daughter to Master Celestis. She has again pried about old libraries seeking what she can learn of us, and judging from her newest reading list, the dear lady has become too interested in our existence and practices. Many curious fools have sought the same knowledge without concern to us, but this situation is alarming in how Lady Alicia might use such knowledge, for soon she will inherit the vast wealth and power of the only institution in this city where we have no proper influence, her father's estate. So therefore we must undermine Alicia before she can become a greater danger. The High Council suggests that we further incite the rising hatred of these those slaves and servants toiling upon the mountain of Celestis Industries. If all works as planned, a rebellion from within should destroy the enterprise, and moreover, remove the dynasty of Celestis it represents. 
Lastly, we are certain the bastard of the king wanders the streets, and so Keeper Forsythius continues to press our campaign against all feral children. Once the king dies with no heirs, it should be a simple matter to insert whomever we desire upon the throne. A pity that so many wayward children must perish, but such is a price we must be willing to pay for our own freedom in the face of tyrants and evildoers. Man, so the Keeper seems to be uh, behind some of these activities. Okay. So that was a failed, an utterly failed uh, Ghost and Supreme run. Uh, we took a lot of busts here. We didn't end up having to drink that healing potion at the end, but I guess maybe picking it up, though it wasn't unnecessary, because um, it was in case I needed it. Yeah. Um, so, what? how many busts did we actually take here? So, we used, I think, a total of eight gas arrows and four, um, four gas mines. And we blackjacked, or rather knocked out with gas, a total of 13 enemies. Uh, I can't remember how many thieves, how many City Watch uh, members, but... 13, because we did one double in the barn. We also um, got spotted by Frentitious and um, killing him alerted at least two other guards. Maybe even three, but at least two. So being seen by Frentitious and alerting those others, that's also busts. Um, other than that, I don't think there was anything else we did. Um, now, in my opinion, at least gassing the people that are on Alicia's way that could potentially interact with her and kill her goes with the principles of some of the objectives here. So, you know, that's one of the areas of the ghost rules that I kind of don't agree with. I think that there should be a little bit more leniency to allow certain things that objectives are directing you to do. I'm not saying that anything that you do... Uh, you should have the liberty to do and call it an excuse. That's not what I'm saying, but something that maybe isn't explicitly stated, but that is implied heavily in the objectives like this, make sure Alicia finds her way home alive. Okay, so you can try this a hundred times, and maybe one or two out of a hundred, she does it without you needing to interact at all. But if you find it necessary to do that, then I feel that that is okay. But that's just my opinion. Uh, it was a bust either way. Um, so let's look at the stats. 37 minutes, 12 seconds. We found all the loot, 1947. We picked no pockets, and um, we picked seven locks. Backstab zero, knockout zero, no damage dealt. And damage taken is five. Uh, we lost five health points then from the poison. And uh, this is the last poison mission, by the way. Uh, healing taken zero. Oh yeah, you know what? We didn't lose any health after we killed Frantitius. That stopped that effect. That makes sense. I didn't think about that until now. Totally. That's why the, the thunder came, because you changed time, basically. You altered the course of time, and you are no longer poisoned. Uh, nothing and nobody killed. Bodies discovered by enemies won. Okay. I think that actually was one of the thieves discovering a body that Alicia killed. So I don't think that has anything to do with us. and we, There's no secrets. So campaign totals, time so far, six hours, no minutes, and 38 seconds, and we found 10,066 loot. And we received 27 damage in total from um, this infernal poison. Now. Okay. So let me know what you think. I think it's a cool mission. Uh, different. Uh, I like the map reuse from Hallucinations because most of it is, is new in the area that you're occupied in, except for some areas that you know from before, but that's okay. Um, I like it. I probably would rank it, you know, third in this overall campaign. I think Hallucinations is my is in, in the top for me, maybe. I'll go through that at the end of the last mission. So, um, uh, there's only one more mission, really, to play here. And uh, although there is actually three mission files left, there's really only one playable mission, so... That is not the next mission we're going to do. We're going to go back to Runes of Virginia and do mission three 
Fire and Ice. Um, and then we don't have too many more to play from our campaign, so we'll see. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a comment. That's always appreciated. I read them, and I try to respond as many as I can. Um, I will see you guys next time. In the meantime, stay safe. Have a good night. Bye-bye.